What a nice bluegill. Swallow this thing though. No blood, clean, clean, recover of the jig head. Beautiful bluegill. Let's get him back in there. Go on back to you, to your round. And let's get in here, get another one. I really wish I could find some more shell crackers. I've been looking for them today, but I just, I, I just can't seem to find none of them. They're probably all mixed up in this stuff together. So. Hopefully I could get another one or two of those big boys. All right, all right, all right, big boy. All right, another big male look like here. You see, you guys see where I'm hooking those fish at? Right at the top of the lip, the roof of the mouth. Another huge bluegill, guys. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Phone ringing. Don't you hate when your phone ringing while you're fishing? Ah. Ain't, no, ain't nothing like it, YouTube. Nothing like it. Man, get your butt off the couch and get out that house. Get out, You can't catch him at the house on the couch. Let's get back in there and get another one. Pound test, y'all. Look at the size of this bluegill here. Let me show y'all something. Uh, this is what you call a bluegill. I gotta get a control of them because I don't want them to pop my line. You guys see that? Look at the size of that thing. Hold them hook TV. Now that's what you call a bluegill. Good God Almighty. It's a big male. Whew. Let's get back in there and get some more. Let me let them back. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Live action, springtime bluegill fishing. Got a little piece of worm. I don't even know the size of this jig, the jig head I'm using. I know it's smaller than a 164 ounce. I'm not quite sure what, what size it is, but it's very small. Get him, see if I can get another one. All right, y'all. I feel like another, another nice bluegill here. This is two pound test line I'm using, y'all. So I can't horse him too much on this. I'm going to get down here and get him. Another nice one. 
Got a nice blue gear, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get him back in the water. All right. Hold him, hook TV. Let's see if we can get another one out of there, y'all. Stay with me. Hey, y'all, go. If y'all didn't do anything about six cents, these little grab bags are great to put your little tackle on, especially when you're doing the fishing, um, the kind of fishing that I'm doing today. I'm just going around bluegill fishing. Um, it's great to have all, I got all my stuff in here. All my tackle, my hooks, my scissors, forceps, everything I need is in there. So let me get a worm on here, guys, and I'll get back with y'all in one minute. Hold them hook TV. Breezy, nice, beautiful day on the lake. I mean, got pollen and duck feathers flying around everywhere, but besides that, <laughs> everything is copacetic. Just enjoying my off day, catching some nice panfish. Yeah, nothing like nature. I love it. Alright y'all, there go another one. I'm trying to give you all live action on these fish in real time. Another nice, nice bluegill. I have to take my time with this. Like I said, I'm using two pound test. So any wrong shake or something, it'll pop my line. Nice, nice female bluegill. Or male, excuse me. Let's get him back in the get him back in the water. And I actually think these fish are off of bed. I just think they're kind of roaming around. I don't think they're actually sitting on these beds over because these I see a few beds down here, but they, they're empty. They pushed out a little bit further. I think they're really just trying to feed after the spawn. But you know these the blue gear and shell cracker, they'll spawn three times, four times, you know, throughout the spring, summertime, so. <laughs> that was a little bass. <clears throat> Using two pound test line. Having a problem with these old duck feathers today though, man. They all in my, all on my lines, messing up my casting. But uh, I'm just making it work. The five six pole, ultra light action with a fluger, a mini fluger rail. So that's my setup. This pole is built. I think this is a um, Lewis pole, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Lewis. I'm gonna try to catch another one of them big old bluegill. That was fun. Let's see if I get another one to bite. There go another one, y'all. He he definitely taking drag him. Huh? This might be a female. Yeah, this is this is a female. No, this is shell cracker, y'all. Shell cracker. All right. I gotta get my forceps to get this one out of here, y'all. I'm gonna go back over here to my uh, to my six cents bag. Find my forceps so I can save this fish's life. As soon as I get it out, I can show you all the fish. It's a little blood, but I don't, it's, it's a little blood on the fish, but it's not bad. So, show sure, crack. I'm gonna let him get back in the water. Wait, hold on. 
Let y'all get another good look at him. Nice, nice big old shell cracker. Let me get him back in there so he can recover. Wipe my bag off. Got a little blood on it, but guess that's what it's for to get dirty, right? Let's get back in here and get another one, y'all. Ooh, starting to heat up. Wind them. Oh, that's a nice one here, y'all. Oh, it's a nice one. You pull in drag. A lot of drag, too. See, this is a two pound test. I, I can't horse them around. Gotta let them just. Dis oh, big, big boy. Ooh, big daddy. Almost got away on me, huh? Another nice blue gear, y'all. Trying to get. Let's get him back in the water, man. Let's get him back in the water. Boom! Let's get another one. Man, what's going on, YouTube? Man, I had a blast catching those blue gillies. That was fun. Two pound test line, ultra light pole, and a worm. I was using a jig head. Um, I don't notice. I'm gonna look and try to find the size of those jig head. When I ordered them, the size didn't come. Actually, I ordered. I was trying to order some 164, and I ordered the wrong thing. But the bag didn't come with the size on it. So I really don't know the size of that little jig head. I just know it's smaller than the 164,000 jig head. It's smaller than that. So I don't know what it is, but I figure it out. If you guys know what that is, jig head smaller than the 164,000, put it in the comments. Let me know. Help me out. Uh, so I fished about an hour and a half. Got to get out of there. I have to go um, check on a job that I, um, I have to, <clears throat> excuse me, that I have to paint. So. With that being said, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, can't catch him at the house on the couch. Mike D, Hold Em Hook TV. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget about the um, giveaway when I get to 500,000. 500 subscribers? 500,000, I wish. When I get to 500 subscribers, I'll be giving away um, a seat and a pedestal. And I'll be giving another giveaway when I get to 1,000 subscribers. So you guys share, subscribe, man. Tell your friends. Till next time, YouTube get out there catching some fish i had a blast didn't have much time but i made the best out of the time that i did have so more videos to come stay tuned mike d catch y'all on the next one youtube wow